to video five in our 10 part series, taking you from beginner to awesomeness in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate. In this episode, we're gonna talk about batch editing. There's all sorts of things we could batch edit. Uh, I could batch edit names, timestamps. You know what? That's all great tech stuff, but one of the ones that I'm most interested in batching would be copying, copying settings from a photo that I processed non-destructively and applying that to similar photos because I, I wanna save time. And a lot of us come across situations like that. You don't wanna go in and start processing all the photos all the same. So let's take this photo from episode four where we non-destructively edited this photo, made some changes to it. One thing that I desperately, desperately, definitely want to point out is that, as a reminder, that I had this horrible horizon line on this image because that's one of my skills is making terribly crooked images. <laughs> and so I straightened this like seven degrees. That might even be a record for me. Uh, I generally can be pretty horrible at that. There's no excuse for this one. I don't, I was out to lunch. I was looking at the models and thinking about light and not thinking about the background. So fortunately, uh, crop came in and saved the day and I shot wide enough that we could actually move this image seven degrees. I am just reminding you about this because if I were to take the processing from this image Okay, so I'm gonna copy the settings from this image. If I go through and under geometry here, if I take the crop, rotate, straighten, you know what, I'm just, gonna t I'm just gonna turn those off. If I take that information and I copy it and I paste it to there, uh, some of them also have horrible horizon lines that would match, others will not. So one of the things that I like to do uh, here I could, I could select unselect all if I just wanted one thing, but I basically want pretty much everything copied uh, except for uh, geometry. I won't go through that. The other one that you'll often find is depending on repair. So heal and clone. If I had a spot of dust and I repaired that, sometimes I might uh, copy that to other settings because the dust might be in the same spot, but that can get me, that can still get you into problems. But, but certainly if you were to uh, fix a blemish or, or some other thing that you wanted to get rid of, you probably want to be thinking about turning off uh, repair, the, the heal and clone repair. So I generally have that one turned off too. So I'm going to copy all those settings. All those settings are copied. Oh, and you know what? There is another one. Hang on. Let's go back. Copy settings. I'm there is uh, masks. And I did, I, I knew I chose this one for a reason. Remember in this image, let me, I went in and I did some AI masking and I chose the background separately from the foreground so we could process uh, the background and foreground separately. I actually chose this problematic image on purpose for this reason and almost forgot while I was showing you. If I copy my settings, and I copy those masks, it, it's not like it's going to say, okay, AI, I want you to go in and select a background and select the subject and make the changes. No, it's gonna physically copy the masks. And because every shot I have is going to have like our models in a, you know, a different place, in a different shape, the masks aren't going to work. So that would be the other one you wanna turn off is your selective masks. You probably wanna turn off geometry and you wanna turn off, heal and clone, there we go. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm going to select all of these images here. And I'm going to paste those settings. And Zing is going to go through on all those raw files and make changes. And you'll see the, the horrible horizon line. Um, I probably could have copied and pasted the horizon line. It looks like it's almost seven degrees, but it's going to vary. And so that would be, that would be one of those things when, I, when I'm freehanding. Uh, if I was on a tripod, I probably would, I would copy those settings. This one, I would have to go in and go through and adjust. All of the settings have been applied to all of those images. That is how, that, that's one of my most common ways of batch processing 
is to copy the changes from a non-destructive develop suite and apply them to similar images, saving all sorts of time. And that is my absolute most used style of batch processing. As I said, there's, there's all sorts of things you can batch process, like uh, IPTC data, changing dates, times on photos, uh, batch processing, changing names, all sorts of batch processing that as a database, it's super powerful but you know it's it's a little techy and uh, it's not something you often do this however this i do all the time and it does amazing things with photos it's it's another style of batch processing it's batch processing of images and it really is a superpower of acdc i highly recommend when you've got a series of photos work on a master photo copy the processing from that photo and apply it to it. Uh, apply it to other similar photos. It will save you tons and tons of time and get your images looking fantastic. In our next episode, we're going to move on to the edit suite. Uh, destructive <laughs> editing. Uh, it, it's layer-based editing, a lot like you would do in, in Photoshop. For some of you, that's something you're probably never going to use. For others, it's just like, wow, layer-based editing? Count me in. I will give you a primer on that. And I, you know, it, it's compositing. It's, it's where I have tons of fun in the ad world. I hope you stick around. For that.